Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about the newest and the hottest feature of Instagram, that is Instagram Reels. That is something everybody's talking about. If you don't know already what is Reels, it is basically the TikTok within Instagram. It's not a standalone app, but a feature, a tab within. If you go to your favorite uh, artist, your favorite influencer, you can see already the tab or go to the discovery page. You can also see on top the Reels. It's it's a 15 second multi-clip short format video format and it's like TikTok people snap clap dance and do silly things and memes in front and also people speed paint and do other kind of things but usually very entertaining very humorous and somehow mm, very strange things you get my idea right so head over to your uh, favorite influencer and to see if they're already creating reels if you are also attempted to create reels and you wonder if reels is right for you as an artist uh, how it will fit into your existing business and e-communication plan i want you to take a few steps back and look at it from another angle from not a technical nitty-gritty angle but rather let's see the big picture the historic angle and see for every artist there are different kind of ways to promote your art i cannot tell you this is right or not i just want to give you a way to analyze it because this is the copycat or copy kitten of tiktok we cannot avoid talking about tiktok so let's head over to the tiktok department tiktok is the international version of chinese app douyin douyin is very popular still today in china and it was launched in 2017 internationally but it was not so successful it couldn't get the international traction and then in 2018 it merged with musically uh, already trending app I to say that it was a really smart move immediately it just grow when the two things combined it's like chemistry totally and in 2019 it's one of the fastest growing community fastest growing company by dance based in beijing and a lot of social media influencers had been recommending TikTok like crazy. For example, Gary Vee, he was like, you must go on TikTok. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. You will grow so fast and it's such a good thing. Just go out there, promote your brand, make content and you know, get the influence that you desire for your business. Really, really. <laughs> in 2019, the people were crazy about it. And a lot of artists asked me, should I use TikTok to promote my art, my art business? Business, can I sell to Chinese collectors using TikTok? And my answer had always been no. I don't think TikTok is right for the majority of international artists. And I will tell you five reasons quickly. The first reason is policy risks. Policy is a big thing because I'm a Chinese myself. I'm fully aware of the biases and the, let's say the risk factors with the international policy. And India had already been banning Chinese apps, a dozen of Chinese apps. So you kind of know it's going to happen. You don't know when, how, where, exactly why, but now you know that it actually happened. There are already warning signs in 2019. So I kind of smelled it already, but a lot of people still decided to turn a blind eye and just go for it, which had been in a way a mistake. Number two, social media grows, social media dies. This is just the life uh, cycle or let's say the lifespan of social media in general. Look at MySpace, look at Tumblr. Once it was one of the first choice among uh, emerging artists and now Tumblr had been dying for a while. I was surprised when I realized it's kind of stabilized, but you know, it was not doing well for the past few years and it's such a shame, but this is how it is. You cannot rely on social media to grow a solid art career and art business. You must combine social media with other things. Otherwise, when this social media goes down, you might go down with it. Number three, TikTok might not be right for your kind of target audience. TikTok is popular among teenagers, young people, um, generation X, Y, Z, I don't really know the names anymore, but you get my idea. If you wanna sell through galleries to important collectors, to the museums, you wanna be in the art history, guess what? It's not the right kind of people you need to attract. If you wanna sell popular merchandise, maybe, yeah, but you know, you might not find your customers among the audience within TikTok or on any other app. You just have to see 
if the kind of demographic, the kind of target audience will suit your art business or not. You cannot just chase TikTok because other influencers said they had successful business. What are they selling? Are they selling fast moving consumer goods? Are you selling fast moving consumer goods? If you're not, then maybe this is not the right app for you. Number four, TikTok is not Douyin. They are two different apps, standalone apps with different database, different audience, different accounts. Nothing is the same. So if you wish to use TikTok to sell to Chinese collectors, it won't work because there is no communication. Like it's like Instagram and Twitter. I don't know. Like it's just different things. Of course, you cannot wish using TikTok to promote your art. You need to really get into how it works and evaluate it carefully and read the fine prints before rushing into just creating content because you need a strategy. You need to understand how things work before getting into it. Otherwise, it's just going to be a waste of your precious time. Last but not the least, you can't chase the trends. The trends are running away from you like speed of light and you're chasing it with the speed of sound. There's no way you'll be on top of trends forever. Maybe you'll be trending for a couple of months and then the next year you'll be forgotten. If you want a sustainable business, you want to leave a dent in the art history, in the art market, you want something long lasting that you can pass on to your children, you cannot chase trends let trends come to you, like wait there, right? wait in front of your niche, wait for the trend to come and then the trends comes and you just take everything and you will be remembered as the landmark. This is a better, more sustainable strategy as an artist. Now let's move to the Instagram Reels department. And I talked so much about TikTok because I want to offer you a way to evaluate. If you think that TikTok is not right for you, but Instagram is right for your kind of audience, very well, I'm not stopping you. I'm not discouraging you from using Reels to promote your art. Uh, on the contrary, I think it's a great opportunity because if you already have Instagram account, it's not the same if you have to start uh, from zero using a different a kind of uh, TikTok or another kind of app. If you have to learn a new kind of algorithm, no, if you already have it, you will know more or less what you're doing, then it's going to just join forces and going to give you more exposure. And especially when TikTok is going to be eliminated from the market, Instagram will not hesitate to take over the whole market. Therefore, you can have that ride with the synergy with Instagram and grow with the social media. You can bet on it if this is your choice, if you think, again, this will be suitable for your kind of promotion for your kind of business. But before making Reels videos, I want you to know the five things. Please keep in mind when you are making the Reels videos. My first advice is don't try to chop down or edit down your current videos to suit a short format because it's not the same format. I tried this once while I was making TikTok videos. I tried to use IGTV because they are both vertical format. I said, okay, just chop it, chop and then dump it into uh, TikTok. But no, it doesn't work. You need to create new content using different style, using humor, more entertainment or music or do different dance moves to showcase your personality. It's a whole new learning curve. So be willing to adapt to it and take time to learn and to cater content for your new kind of audience. The second thing is that you cannot squeeze in too much content. I think YouTubers tend to make this mistake. You want to teach, you want to give information, you want to add value. So you end up squeezing a lot of things, condensing it into 15 seconds, but it won't work because 15 seconds is such a short time. You need to take it easy. You need to give more entertainment, uh, more humor, more personality, more fun, and leave out majority of the content. Just imagine it as a trailer of a movie, not a spoiler of a movie. Eventually you want to lure people into your main account and then watch IGTV, go to your posts, go to your website and explore other kind of content 
Don't try to squeeze everything in into just 15 seconds. Number three, think it as a free publicity. When you go to YouTube, there are some skippable ads or non-skippable ads for this 10, 12, 15 seconds. Think it as a way to promote your art for free using Instagram. Be happy with every free visit that you receive from Reels. After learning how to make it, you're just spending a few seconds and you can get free traffic from Instagram. After all, you are winning more from it and the risk and the the effort you put is pretty much minimal. Number four, think it as branding, not as conversion, not as sales. Because after all, you cannot convert within that few seconds, especially the retention with TikTok is like a good retention will be three seconds. In a 15 second video clip, you can only get three seconds because even uh, for a 12 minute video on YouTube, I can get four minutes, like that's quite good already. So people won't watch it completely. Within three seconds, can you make a sale? I don't think so. I don't think you can make a sale when people watch you three seconds, they're like, I'm gonna buy that art. Very few or almost impossible. So I would say, take it easy. Don't think it as a sales pitch in three seconds. Don't think it as an elevator pitch but as a, you know, like a way, a joke, a line, just to get people uh, interested in your art and what you're doing. With time, once they follow you, they know you, they are more and more interested and you can win their heart with time and take it easy because I don't think you can immediately convert within that few seconds with Instagram Reels. Last but not the least, make sure you back up. It's really important because just like TikTok, maybe one day Instagram will not find much success with Reels and decided to eliminate it and then where the content goes, right? Like you will feel such a frustration, you have to download everything and then you don't know how to edit it anymore because you catered this for Reels and how are you going to handle the copyright, the music and everything? Okay, so it's better to keep the raw material in your hard drive or your phone so that you can use it for another social media you can use it for your own website so you can minimize the risks of the Instagram Reels and all the time you spend, all the effort you spend is not for nothing, even Reels is not here anymore. Now you have heard my opinion on Instagram Reels. Are you going to make some videos? What kind of content you wanna create? Make sure you leave me a comment in the comment box below. Thank you very much for listening. See you in the next video.